Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how to use a force sensor to make an anti-theft alarm. So first I'll show you how the force sensor works. So here I have force sensor and when I apply pressure to it, it will give me the values based on the pressure and these values are in the analog signal and I'm reading it through Arduino. So as you can see when I apply pressure on it, it will give the value and I'm displaying those values on a 16 into 2 LCD display. So in this way this force sensor works. So now I'll show you how to make an anti theft alarm with this force sensor. So now you can see I have placed the jewelry on the force sensor and it is detecting some pressure on the sensor due to the weight of that jewelry and I have added those same certain value range in the Arduino board. So if someone tries to touch the jewelry or try to steal it, the buzzer will turn on and the red light will turn on. So now I'll show you a demo by touching the jewelry. So as you can see I just touched the jewelry and the red light turned on and the buzzer started on. So to reset this whole system you have to press the reset button. So if I press the reset button everything will go into reset mode and it will start again. So now if I try to pick up the jewelry. So as you can see the red light turned on and buzzer started buzzing. So if I again put it, it won't work. So now I have to press the reset button and it will stop. So in this way the system works. So let's get started making this. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a good quality PCB manufacturing company and also provides SMT assembly services. It holds more than 2 lakh in stock components and provides low cost PCB assembly services in very less time. For discounts in prices, you can use coupon codes added in your accounts for new users and SMT assembly services. I have provided links in the description so you can start ordering your PCBs. So for this project you will need an Arduino. You can use Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno. This is a FSR sensor that is force sensitive resistor. You can call it as force sensor as well. This comes in different sizes as well. This is a 16 into 2 I2C LCD display. This is a buzzer. You'll also need a push button, resistors, LEDs. You'll also need some wires and breadboard for the connections. Now follow this circuit diagram and make your connections.
So I've completed all the connections as per the circuit diagram and now we'll connect it with the computer for programming. So now this is the code and here you need to add the library that is liquid crystal i2c and you have to select the board select the port and upload the code. So after uploading the code you can see the value of the FSR sensor on the LCD display. So when you apply pressure on the sensor you can see the change in value. So it depends on how much pressure you apply on the sensor. So now I will keep a bracelet on the sensor and note its value. So as you can see the value ranges from 560 to 580. So in the code I will be adding the value range from 550 to 650. So after finalizing the value range of the four sensor we need to add it in the code. So open the same code again and on this line you need to add that range. So if the force value is less than 550 or the force value is greater than 650 we are assigning value 1 to our temporary variable. And if the temporary variable is equals to 1 then we are turning on the LED and the buzzer. And when you press the button that is the reset button the temporary variable will get the value 0 and if the temporary variable value is 0 then we are turning off the LED and the buzzer. So in this way the reset system works. So now to upload this code again select the board that is Arduino Uno select the port and upload the code. So now our system is ready for the demonstration. So now you can see when I place the bracelet on the sensor we are inside the range that we have set that is 550 to 650 but when I touch the bracelet the force sensitive resistor changes its values and goes outside the range and it triggers the LED and the buzzer and to stop it we need to press the reset button. So in this way the system works. So friends if you like this project then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.